Woods here, and today we're going to be looking at the Nike Dunk Low Pro SB ACG Red Plum. Now, I managed to hit with a raffle on Flat Spot. So, a big shout out to Flat Spot. I know it is all luck of the draw, but at the end of the day, I think Flat Spot are a fantastic skate shop. Their service is really good, they notify you. When it comes to raffles, they tell you prior to the raffle um, opening really early. They do great images, great videos. Uh, they tell you when you've won, they tell you when you've lost promptly. Both of them I think are important because you don't want to be hanging in there if you haven't won them. They use Shopify and I really think Shopify is an amazing little app, uh, really good to use. And they deliver with DPD, double boxed, invoice, cheeky little sticker. Normally next day, can't go wrong. So big shout out to Flatspot. I've managed to score on quite a few of their raffles and uh, this Getting this one means that I've got the free uh, SB Dunk Low Pro ACG releases that have come quite recently. So yeah, enough of that. Let's have a little look over. Let's start off with the box. Now, comes in your purple Nike SB box. It states on the label, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Red Plum Citroen Black Taxi. Now I've got these in my SB Dunk size because I half size up, so I've got these in a 9.5, which is a US 10.5. Now, what I looked at straight away, this was the contrast between the black and the red plum, and I think it looks fantastic. It's what I liked on the previous, the first one they released where it was that purple color against the black, against the dark, it just looks fantastic. But when I pulled these out of the box, I wasn't too sure. I wasn't too sure of the red plum, but as soon as you put these on feet, look fantastic, just like most SB Dunks do. Now, you've got that classic yellow stitching, a classic now because they've used it on a previous model, that's the way I'm stating it, and they've classed it as taxi. So it's a yellow taxi color, I suppose. Um, on the release that I got, I got it from a Nike restock and unfortunately it was factory flawed, so I didn't have this yellow stitching. And then the, the Celadon didn't have that yellow stitching, it had a white stitching. So this is my first ACG uh, low with the um, yellow stitching, but there we go. So you've also got yellow stitching through the Nike uh, text on the back of that red plum heel tab. You've got that red plum suede, which is quite a nice, um, it feels like quite a, a decent suede on it. It's sort of like a shorter suede on the red plum around the toe box, along the lace holes, and then going towards that back heel. And then it's a slightly longer, almost like a bit fluffier, sort of black suede on that toe box behind and behind the swoosh panels, and then going around the top of the back of the heel. Now, it does have that sort of slight color change when you move that black suede on the toe box and it should hopefully be durable because these are after all a skateboard shoe. So suede is what I think is always preferred because leather just rips so quickly. You've got that black tongue and then the black sock liner. Now I think it's always good when you've got black sock liner because it's, it disguises dirt and grime and whatnot, but it does obviously show the sock lint and I really like the contrast between the uh, the black and the red plum on this. And I think the fact that you've got majority black on this makes it look uh, really great. You've got stock black laces, which I think go really well, obviously, with the tongue. You've got backup laces in that citron color attached to the stock laces. So they've, they're carrying on with that instead of putting a little bit of plastic on it, which is great. You've got that citron color on the Nike tab on the tongue, citron on the swooshes, which is also a slightly, slightly sort of like fluffy suede on the swooshes, but it is almost like a lighter, more of a pastel of that green. And then you've got the citron on the insole, and then you've got red plum text. Carrying back onto the sole, so obviously you've got that yellow stitching as stated, You've got that ACG speckling effect against that white midsole. And on the bottom, you've got black. Now I think it's always good to have a black bottom of the sole because it's gonna get obviously dirty, grimy. And even though when you have a translucent sole, it looks fantastic at the beginning, but if you actually wear it, it 
gets trashed pretty quick. And then you have your Nike SB cushioned emblem pad, whatever you want to call it in the middle. And yeah, all round, a really beautiful little pickup. Glad to get the three that are out so far. I'm going to be doing some on feet fits and obviously the lace swaps. And yeah, I think that the SB Dunk, very comfy shoe. I normally go half size up, but it depends on if you have a wide foot or a slim foot, I'd say I have a wider foot. Now, let me know. Did you pick these up? Are you gonna pick these up? Did you manage to get all three or did you just want one? Are you gonna skate these? Any comments, positive or welcome. That's it from me. Let's go with the on feet. Woodsy out. <laughs>